Hi. Hi, Wei Wei. This is uh, Maria. Yes, how are you? Hello. Yes, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, Wei Wei. Yes, this is Maria. This is Maria. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm so glad that we are able to talk today because um, tomorrow, and I don't know if you know, but a group of people are going to gather and protest on your favor and on your behalf in Brooklyn because you can't come to be here with us and celebrate the show and the Brooklyn Bowl. How do you feel about that? Uh, first, I feel very uh, proud of the of this planet, uh, we have a, a group of artists or, 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 or people in supporting and in, in, yeah, in protecting the freedom of speech. And uh, I think uh, this is a, a, a idea um, human being or, 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 or human has been constantly uh, fighting for these rights and uh, and even uh, in different kind of society the, this is uh, still very important to uh, uh, still it's a, a very strong issue to to protect the rights for the artist or thinker or uh, writers to have the liberty to in questioning the authority, in questioning the power, and uh, so I'm very happy this can happen. And we're very happy too because the Brooklyn Museum has always been at the forefront and trying to show a whole different set of art, diversity. They um, are always pushing for different things. It's different gender international artists who come from all over the world, women, and there is always a voice that comes with strength showing all the problems that the world is facing nowadays, either in a very poetic way or in a very political way, but always through art. And art can create such an awareness of what's happening in the world and people who are losing freedoms and suffering. And somehow you manage to overcome all those problems. You always in, have an ingenious way. You use social media, you make films, you send shows to travel the world, even though if you can't leave China. And it's important that we also emphasize the power of communication that we have nowadays that it didn't exist before. And because of that, I feel that you have also gotten this enormous amount of support from the world who are following you on Twitter, on Instagram. And how do you feel about social media and what it has created for you? I think uh, today, um, Brooklyn Museum once again showed its uh, strength in, in supporting different kinds of Forms, ideas, and uh, and possibilities to communicate, and uh, to support uh, the different kind of expressions toward this very compli uh, complicated world. <coughs> and uh, social media is uh, the, such a powerful tool to equip the human from uh, to 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 really express themselves and. Uh, communicate freely and uh, this is uh, this is uh, something unthinkable uh, and it's like a miracle happened to human society and uh, it's uh, so powerful it's so direct and it happens uh, right uh, on time uh, you know so it doesn't cost that much and it's so easy to use and attract to everybody from a baby to, to very odd people, from people still in school or people in hospital or even in the, in the, uh, in the right or different kind of 
uh, social conditions or politicians. So we are really living in a very, very different world, uh, which words and the image, and uh, once again become a really uh, uh, associate and uh, uh, really affect everybody's daily life. And I think this is amazing. And uh, as uh, my, myself, because I'm living in such a uh, condition, and uh, which is, it's, uh, you know, in China it's over one billion people, one, one fifth of the world population live in such a condition. So as an artist or as somebody has lived in New York for 10, uh, uh, ten years, and uh, I, I just uh, fall in love with the social media and uh, spend a lot of time in there, even under very, very strong restriction and the censorship, I still managed to <laughs> reach out uh, successfully. And, uh, you know, I, I think this is, uh, without social media, I will, I will never uh, reach the, the point um, today. But of course, I, it brings me a lot of danger <laughs> and uh, difficulties in my life. Uh, but uh, everything, you know, I have no regret. I think this is uh, beautiful and uh, to show, uh, to, to explore the world myself and uh, to communicate with other people, especially young people, they, are, they give, give them hope, give them uh, uh, strength, make them think everything's possible, make them, they make them think they are, you know, they are controlling their life and they, they are, they have a, a, a enormous space. Uh, areas and uh, uh, they can explore in their life. So this is uh, um, it, it's beautiful. Yeah, it is. And you know th the show looks 20 years back in your career. There is a quote in the show that is one of your quotes and it says it, it, as part of the show, it says, the tragic reality of today is reflected in the true plight of our spiritual existence. We are spineless and cannot stand straight. So that means that for some reason, human beings right now are not really following their true convictions. They are not being free. And you are trying to say that with your show and with your art and using quotes and using film and using sculpture to talk about that. Is there anything in particular in the show that's opening at the Brooklyn Museum that is called According to What that you feel more strongly about or that you want to tell the audience what you wanted to accomplish with a particular piece or a particular quote? Well, I think uh, the show, uh, uh, according to what, uh, as the title uh, already suggests, is uh, uh, one of the Jasper Jones uh, early painting. And uh, I w my art, my education, um, um, mostly come from the uh, from 1981 to 1993. Spent the time. And uh, you know those are heavily influenced by my view on art and uh, social liberty. And uh, then when I come back to be, uh, China, to Beijing, you know the society has uh, moved uh, very fast and uh, changing. But the one thing never change is uh, we are still under a very restricted uh, uh, authoritarian society where China still refused to have a democracy. Mm -hmm. And uh, to, to have that system which refuses young people's participation in the, or, or, or anybody's participation in political uh, uh, fields yeah. uh, and the social fields. 
So that means refuse their, their, the possibility of them to gain the information because the, the uh, um, sensor uh, and, uh, and the control of the internet. So you have generations of people growing up with very limited knowledge, very restricted uh, information, artistic information, and uh, they've never been encouraged to have a, a courage, imagination, and uh, they're producing those people are not, cannot meet the challenge of today art or tomorrow. Yeah. So my work is a, a true struggle to try to uh, trying to make or trying to even to suggest those uh, uh, should be possible and of course by doing that uh, I I'm, I'm, I made so much obstacles and uh, get myself into uh, such a very uh, uh, difficult condition yeah but uh, still those works in the show reflects uh, China and uh, reflects uh, myself uh, a true condition of an uh, artist or a human being in that society. Well, thank you so much, Weiwei. Uh, the good news about all this is that you can still make incredible art and reach so many people with it and express yourself and show the world the realities of your life and the lack of freedom and lack of democracy that you experience yourself. So thank you. You're inspiring millions around the world to follow you and you're pushing people to be able to feel better about themselves and express themselves without fear. Thank you so much. And I hope to meet you soon and that you can come and travel to New York so that we can celebrate the amazing and extraordinary artists that you are. Thank you.